Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com, and welcome to another um, screencast review segment. Today we'll be looking at the Neuro Vision Extra. Now, the Vision Extra is a uh, movie editing tool from Neuro that allows you to, uh, you can make DVDs, you can make Blu-ray discs, you can make CDs, you can record uh, directly to disc, and you can also just, you know, edit and make your movies. So, um, I'm going to show you... Uh, how it works and how you can make a movie with the Neurovision Extra. So, first thing we're going to do is make go to make a movie option. Now that's going to lo should load up to give us uh, an option here. There we go. So the options are up. You can see the movie options. It shows the file format. You can go between PAL and NTSC. You can also change the resolutions from standard def 480p all the way to full HD at 1080p. And you can change the sound from mono to stereo to um, surround 5.1. I'm going to now actually name this. So basically, I'm going to be editing the NSL. So you basically can name your files beforehand, and you can see the information, of course, which you've selected here. You see my sample rate. Now this comes up. I'm actually going to maximize this, so we get a full view of the screen. So what you see here with your uh, Neuro uh, Vision Extra is your standard uh, movie view, uh, movie uh, editing screen. On the top, you have your media section where you have your videos, which you can import videos in pictures, these are back sample pictures and you can pour some more in, audio, you do have your clip art, different uh, forms of clip art which you can add to your uh, videos, music and of course free sample music which um, you can actually use in your videos. Now of course you have the import option here to import files from various locations. Now um, let me just expand this back. Moving below, you have your effects template where you can add different effects here uh, from camera effects. Uh, like you see, you have the earthquake effect. You have some other different effects that you can add to, to your video. You do have your text where you can add different lines of text to the video. And, of course, you do have your transitions. So all the different transitions uh, you can use in your video editing process. And of course, this properties here. In the properties, this uh, let me just go the back up here. Up to properties are basically properties of things you add into your video. Now, of course, you do have your timeline and your storyboard here below. You can either switch to either one of the two, and you do have two video um, channels available. Uh, you have a narration channel, a music, uh, as well as two audio, basically for channels with two separate video channels. Um, you can do picture in picture template. You, you have themes. Um, you do have you can record audio. You have some movie options, which goes takes you back to editing the title. And um, over here you have your standard tool. You can uh, cut and they do other options in there. So let's go ahead and just try and quickly edit our video uh, for this review. So I'm going to import a file. In this case, I'm going to look for the NSL file here on my desktop. There it is. So I've imported it into my system. I can now drag it. I'm going to have to put it in video one. So you can see that here. I can now play and listen to audio. So basically, I can do that. I can even now go ahead and cut that clip by taking the cut tool and decided where I want to cut within this whole clip
So I can do that and I can cut and edit within the clip if I want to. I have to just hit the delete button. Go back to the select tool. Delete that out. Need to recut this again. So I have that out. I can now slide my video over. Sorry, I made a mistake there. I need to undo that. You do have your undo buttons there below. So I'm going to slide that up there actually to video channel 2. So I have that up. Let me just select that to delete that out. That's good. So I have that. I can also edit the back and the front. And then I can go ahead and decide to actually add a theme to this if I feel like. So I can go ahead and pick a theme. I click on a theme. And a couple of themes to add. I can add actually the old movie theme here. And NSL review. Uh, the end, uh, and created by board at work dot com to still effects to video clip apply theme music so I can apply theme music and I hit um, OK so that applies theme music to the beginning and end. What you want to do is. This is me a slight mistake here, so slide that over. As you can see, if I hit play, of course, I need to move that to the end, but I can apply that to the end. I'll uh, just show you what the end clip looks like. It says the end. So that's what it looks like. I can also add different transition effects. Um, so for instance, I could do a transition effect between the beginning. Uh, I could do a mass crossfade where I apply that there. And once I press play, you can see the effect there. And um, Or I could apply a hypnotic effect here. So you do get different effects you can apply any different things. It's actually pretty easy and quick to use and overall basically once you're done editing here you can move out and export movie file. Do you want to save project? You say yes to do that. If you go to more options and sure uh, configure you can look at record format options for instance. You're still NTSC or PAL erase disk info finalize disk you can actually record straight to disk as in uh, your you know disk drive and then of course you can export like I said you can export so basically say I save I'll save this project as let's save on the desktop as NSL for now still haven't finished working with it but Accessory saved. Okay, so now I export. Now I export will allow me to uh, to finalize and basically render the video. Export video file. Export audio to file. So I have formats. Usually I can pick. I have AVI, MPEG4. I uh, will pick MPEG4 here. Now look, MPEG4 here basically has maximum output of 720 by 576, which is not what I want. I want something high def. I pick regular AVI. If I do AVI, um, SV MPEG4, that gives me that. Or I could configure 
and change my file formats that way so I could go through and find the best uh, encoding for you. Now this doesn't actually give you a lot of, uh, it's not as preset as some other programs so that <clears throat> that can be an issue in basically finding the right file format for you to use. But you can basically use Windows uh, uh, Windows uh, Media Video which will give you different file formats to pick and that's the easiest to use so I can go 720p here already and I browse my selection the way I want to save my file and I export and an export button will render the file for you so basically um, yeah I'll basically have the the video of uh, us exporting this out there and you can see the quality once we're done fully editing this but just giving you a look at what it does now it's you can take snapshots quite easily also so I can just move around and take a snapshot there and boom I have that snapshot saved and it's right there with my um with my pictures I can add audios and clips so we will have a full worked out video for you guys to take a look uh, but I would say the um the Neuro Vision Extra is it's a simple editing tool. It's good for making home movies. Um, can be a little harder for making, of course, uh, professional work. But it's a very good uh, tool to use in video editing. Something the family can use. Something you can learn to start with with uh, video editing and move from there. Uh, overall, it's a very solid device. So again, if you guys have any questions or any comments, uh, let us know. Don't uh, forget to subscribe to all our pages: uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter as well as um, on the website Border Work, so, which is Border Work with two O's. And so this is Thunder E from Border Work saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.